Uh, I'm Antonio Santini. I'm one of the directors of Dina. I'm Sofia Suet Casoan. I'm the editor of Dina. I'm Dan Sickles, and I'm also one of the directors of Dina. Dina is this very special woman that we encountered, and she gets married to Scott. Scott is also a very special individual, and it's just about them getting closer to each other and navigating that, that the, those challenges that relationships bring. And they gave us the privilege to, to be in their house and to chase them around suburban Philadelphia and kind of just capture all those kind of secret moments that all relationships have, but that usually only the partners get to see. And then it just so happened that Dan and Adam and me were just there to, to be nosy and see all of it. We had a lot, a lot of footage and most of the footage was kind of like observing Dina and Scott on their day-to-day -day life. And because that's where the magic ended up happening, you know? This was my second film in premiere, and I really liked it. And then I was like, can we edit the movie in premiere? And it made sense. And then, and then I've been using premiere ever since. Especially with documentaries. I mean, it was easier to organize. Totally. It was easier to organize the footage as we were bringing, into it, like bringing it in yeah. to Adobe. Like, like legitimately, like we just had so many issues I mean, before with yeah. syncing and Transcoding is the big one. Yeah. I mean, like, what's cool about Premiere is that, like, it's all it's all very streamlined. The thing with our workflow is that Sophia is the editor, and sometimes, you know, Dan and me do have to do things in the program. Like, it's, oh, yeah. she can't just do everything. Sometimes we have to export something, or sometimes, like, Dan will edit a sequence and send it around and be like, oh, like, what do you guys think of this? So it is important to have tools that we can all use, even if we're not like expert editors ourselves. Especially when we were the way we were working with Dina, where it's like. We're not working out of a post house, or we don't have like assistant editors, or you know, like it kind of like it's a small operation that we're just using like one computer and that's it. Like the good thing that Adobe is doing right now, other than like giving us a great software, it's also just like being up to date with like how things work. We cannot be carrying around a machine with us, or like we can we just connect on a laptop and we log in and then you have your movie right there. What's crazy about Adobe is that if I think of all my friends that are artists they all rely on Adobe in some way. What's also crazy is that it's all been self-taught. Like none of these, yeah. us or them, have gone to school to learn how to use anything. You just pick up the program. That's just how you, that's how everyone just knows how to use it. You just play with it and then you figure it out.